Hey guys, so I thought it'd be fun to share something with you that happened to me a few months ago. A few months ago, I did a video uh, about uh, this $10,000 Music Man guitar. Uh, it uh, was really cool and different. It was a Petrucci guitar and it had these Sonic Ecstasy pickups in them that I just thought looked amazing. In fact, the guitar was so over the top and crazy and interesting um, that I thought, wow, this is cool. But the pickups actually were like really, really cool looking. And uh, they sounded fantastic. So what happened was the guys at DiMaggio, Larry DiMaggio and the guys at DiMaggio uh, sent me an email out of nowhere and said, hey, we really like your videos and we saw you like those pickups. We'd like to send you a set. Not to review, not to kind of like market to the, uh, to the audience or anything, just, you know, for you, just to say thank you for what you do. Uh, we know what you do on YouTube is hard and uh, we'd like to send you a set of pickups. So uh, they sent the pickups to me and I got them. But here was the problem. What do you put them in? I thought, oh, I'll put them in my Strat. I'll put them in this other guitar. Long story short, I bought this guitar. This color is amazing to me. This car, this car, this color looks like, uh, like that blue pearl uh, that they put on the Lexus. And I just love it. Um, so let's show you the pickups. I've already installed them. Now, I know some of you guys are going to say, hey, what about the comparison to the old pickups? You know what? I, I don't, it's not about that. I just want to show you the pickups and the guitar since it's really kind of a new guitar day kind of video. So what I have going on, I have the guitar. This, uh, these JP6s have a really interesting feature where you can plug uh, either the two amps in, right? Or switch between two amps. I currently have two amps plugged in. On the acoustic side, because this guitar has a piezo system or pizza system um, with an EQ, it is currently plugged into the uh, accusing Kittner acoustic amp that I'm about to do a demo of a review of. And so you get to hear some of that. Then out the magnetic pickups, which are the, uh, the, the actual humbuckers, the Sonic Ecstasies, I'm running into my Super Sonic 22. Uh, and I get to switch between them with this little switch right here. Now, like I said, if you were plugged into one amp, you could still switch the piezo and the, and the magnetics. You just would switch in between the one amp. So let me show you that for a second. I got the volumes off. Here is the piezo system, switch up, and uh, that's going right through that. So you get that kind of beautiful acoustic. Now I'm running nines on this guitar and I thought about putting tens. I play tens a lot, but I wanted this guitar to be a shredder. It's got a really thin, small, fast, neck with stainless steel frets so uh that is going to cause the acoustic to sound not bright because it's obviously going to be bright it's very um sharp you know what i mean it's got a really plucky kind of pierce sound which uh is great um and you have eq controls i just go ahead and back some of the the tone controls back on the acoustic amp <laughs> Now, let's go to the features of the magnetics. So obviously, now if I switch the switch down, I'm in the supersonic. Now, in the middle position, you get both. Which is cool. And uh, so we're gonna go to down position. Uh, you have a volume and tone control on your magnetics. This other volume right here is obviously for the piezo system, which like I said, in the back has a treble and bass control added to it that you can adjust with a little flathead screwdriver or something. Uh, there is no coil split on this because in the middle position, you're in two single coils. So you have two secret coils. Okay, so in the bridge position. <laughs> pick up because I don't like to run a lot of gain so uh, let me back the 
That's more of the gain line that I like to run. Let's turn the reverb down a bit. I like the gain to uh, maybe have a little break sizzle at the end of it. And this is probably a little more gain than I used to, but this amp's not very loud right now. I'm not cranked. So without that volume to push speaker, I need a little bit more gain to get some sustain. But that is definitely where I can... Yeah, and then the neck pickup does what I love. It cleans up just a little bit and adds a little bit more low end frequency, but not bass, because bass sometimes adds mud, uh, but thickens up the notes. That bridge pickup. Now that's that bite, but the neck, go back to that. Yeah, I like that a lot better. So, and then this particular guitar I really enjoy because um, I like the middle position. Because to me, it's like, okay, I don't have to use a coil split or I don't have to pull anything or do anything weird to, to get to the selection. I just move the switch like I would normally do, just move it to the middle. <laughs> for so many years. I've been a DiMaggio fan for even more than that. DiMaggio was the first aftermarket pickup I ever bought. I think that's going to be true with everybody considering Larry DiMaggio invented the after, uh, aftermarket pickup. Uh, the uh, Super Distortion was the very first aftermarket uh, pickup made. If you don't know what that means, just mean it wasn't made by an actual uh, guitar company like Gibson or Fender or anybody. It was literally made by an independent who, hey, stick this in your guitar and it's better. So one of the other things about this guitar that's really interesting is with the acoustic system and the magnetic system in, in the same guitar, you can use it at a gig and pull off two instruments. You can even use a looper. What I'm running right now is I'm running the acoustic out of this guitar into my Boss looper into the uh, Hughes & Kittner acoustic amp. And then I'm running this, uh, obviously, the electric part straight into the Supersonic 22. I can play the acoustic. <laughs> switch down and now I'm over to this side the electric and I can add the electric part So this guitar is extremely versatile. This one is light. I think this is um, maybe seven and a half pounds. I love the arm, arm cut right here. One thing I will tell you about this guitar too is this guitar, when it had the original pickups in it, it sat in the room and no big deal. No one said anything. I put these pickups in it and the next couple of times I had a company over, every time somebody pointed at this guitar. In fact, this guitar became like the guitar in the room that, that just kind of like stood out to everyone. I think it's because you so rarely you see something with like a piece of machined art like that. So very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this little brief demo and little new guitar day experience with me. I just want to share my experience with you. As always, guys, I want to thank you so much for your time. And until next time, know your gear.